what's up guys Caleb here and I got another Photoshop tutorial on how to get a uh, text animation for like a banner or something like that alright so what you're going to want to do first is go to file new and then this is going to be one of my banner for blog TV so I'm going to name it blog TV banner and then it's the dimensions for that is 990 by 140 and then you click OK alright so once you have this done you're going to want to you're going to want to like go over here and right click background since it's locked and create a layer from the background and just rename it background and then now that that's not locked this will be your this will be your background alright so just select the rectangle tool or whatever tool you use to fill the whole thing and then just select it like that well I gotta change the color from white to black I usually do black because it's really good to blend in. Alright, so once you got that done, you do your text tool, and I'm just going to say, name it iTech. Well, I've got to change the color. Alright, so I'm just going to name it iTech. Just like that. And let's change the text font to something cool to, let's change it to this. And we'll make the font bigger. Let's make it 150. Alright, so once you got that done, there it is right there. Alright, all right, so once you got that done, you're going to re rename that to, to whatever it is up there. Alright, so now what you're going to do is go up here to Window, and then Animation, and you'll get this right here. Once you got this, this is just so you can animate it. Once you have this, you're going to... Alright, so once you got that, you're going to want to create a new layer down here at the bottom in this frame rate. And then go over here and we'll add a glow or something. We'll just add a glow. So click outer glow and we'll just make it go big like this. And then click OK. And now you're going to want to make the opacity to about like 30%. And then just click like that and then you're going to want to do see these little five five circles going in the diagonal click on that and then add frame the more frames the better so like I'll do 10 frames and select all layers and then once you do that it'll look something like this you click the play button and there it goes it'll look like that and you can speed it up or slow it down by changing the time down here at the bottom So you can make it faster, and I'll just do one second, because that's a long pause. And then it'll look like this. It'll be slower like that. And, yeah, that's basically how you do text animation. So, um, and I'll show you some of my artwork that I've done. I've only did one, but this is for my friend Josh. iPhone and iPod help. If you want to go check him out, I will have the link in the description. Oh wait, one more thing before I show you my uh, the design I did for him. How you save this, you go to File, Save for Web and Devices, and then you go over here and you just, instead of having to go through all this stuff, you change the preset to GIF 128 Dithered, and then you click Save, and you just save it to your desktop or wherever. And don't forget down here to save the save the type as image only. And then you just save it wherever. Alright, so I'll just show you all the work I've done. Well, the work I did for him. So, here it is right here. Right here. Right click. Open with... We'll open it with Firefox. Let me find it real quick. Here it is. Open it with that. And then there it is. That's the banner I made for him. So yeah, that was for his blog TV, so thank, 
thank you guys and um don't forget to rate and comment i would like it if you rate five stars but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it's a little golden button over there to the right and follow me on twitter twitter.com slash itech all right guys peace